Hi friends, in this video I'm going to discuss about data validation feature in Excel. Data validation feature is very useful feature and this option is available under data tab within the command ribbon under data tools section. So what is data validation? In Excel, data validation feature helps us to control what can be entered into a specific cell in a worksheet or what should be entered into a specific cell in the worksheet and wherever data need to be entered based on certain custom rules made by us and also few rules which are built in data validation. For example, we can create a drop down list of values in a specific cell or in a specific range. If you look at C2, I have created a drop down list with a list of values. The list of values are FF15 and 16 and 17. Now I'm not doing any data entry in C2 manually. Rather I'm picking the value from the list and based on that, the values are changing because I have entered certain formulas there. Also, if you look at this spreadsheet, I have created a multi-level uh, drop down list. If I select Karnataka, I can get only those cities which are pertaining to Karnataka and then I can enter them easily. So there is no spelling mistake or any other mistake. If I select Tamil Nadu, I'll make sure that I'll get only those values pertaining to Tamil Nadu. So those values are those cities. So in this way, we can use data validation. Another example, we can restrict the data entry to a specific uh, range, maybe a date range. I wanted to enter only those dates which are between January 1 to 31st January. If I enter any date which is beyond 31st January, which is like 1st February, or if I enter a date called 31st December, that cell will not allow that kind of data entry. So I can create that kind of rule. Also, I can create certain custom rules based on uh, certain values or whatever it is and we can restrict the data only to that custom rule alone. So that is what the data validation uh, feature helps us. In this video, let us uh, discuss about drop down lists in general and multi level drop down lists in specific. The way I select a state and I'll got only city, only those city names pertaining to that state. To achieve this, I have used uh, certain options. One is I've used list option in data validation and I've used certain formula in creating a list and I have touched create from selection name range, creating a name range from the selection. These three options I have covered. So obviously you'll be understanding how to create a name of a range from the selection also from this video. The first step is to create a drop down list for states to create that select A2. Data tab under command ribbon in section data tool section data validation drop down select data validation under settings tab select list instead of any value under allow section and then there is a requirement of source. I'm selecting states and cities tab wherein I have all the state names and then say okay my list is ready so now I can select any list any value based on the list and I'm not doing any manual entry. The next step is to create uh, name ranges for city. It is required. For that, I need to go to states and cities tab, select the range along with the state names till the end. Go to formula tab under define name section. There is one option called create from selection. So you can create uh, generate names from the selected list. So the top row or left column will be created as a name for the rest of the range. Create from selection. Since my state names are appearing on the top row, so I select only top row here. Say OK. And then if you look at the range from Visakhapatnam to other place, whatever it is, it's AP. And from Bagal Court till this, it is KA. And then from here to here, it is showing Sorry, I have to select from Chennai. It is showing TN and so on. The third step is creating the data validation for city. 
So now I go to data tab, data uh, data validation, and I have to keep my cursor in uh, under city where I need to get the data validation, the drop down list. Data validation, instead of any value, select list. Now, instead of giving a range, we are actually giving an, a formula called indirect. I have already discussed indirect formula in another video. You can refer that. Indirect. I give the state reference, close the bracket and make it relative. I have to remove that dollar value where it will become totally relative and say yes. That is all. My list is ready. Now, if I go to Kerala and I select only AP, if I go here, I'll only get those cities pertaining to Andhra Pradesh. And accordingly, let it be a little longer so that I'll get proper, I have a space, proper space here. If I select only uh, Karnataka, and if you drop down, you'll get only those cities pertaining to Karnataka. Now, I want to bring the population here. I'll just do a simple uh, VLOOKUP, go VLOOKUP and select the population details and then uh, I have given uh, city as a lookup value so that obviously I have to select the range from city so the population is in second uh, column so index number is 2 and then say false it is exact match okay so I have to give the lookup value which I missed that's all so I'll just make the format properly now if I change the city is a state to Andhra Pradesh and if I go to list I'll get only those values pertaining to the city values pertaining to Andhra Pradesh I'll not get any other value select Vijayawada the population is changing and this is a nice dashboard it can be presented as a dashboard as well and this requires a little practice hope you'll practice it and hope you enjoy this video and keep watching please subscribe and like share and so on. Thank you.